Hi, Dick Rochford here. Aboard 10694, a Piper Meridian, Avidine equipped. And we're taxiing for takeoff. Now, one of the things I encourage each pilot to do prior uh, to flying the aircraft is to ensure that the nose gear is in good condition. And by that, I mean properly maintained. Uh, this is one of the causal factors in some accidents. But I, I would like to say that uh, if there is no deferred maintenance on the aircraft and proper techniques are used, so it wouldn't matter your experience. If you use improper technique, uh, it, it could go poorly. So let's talk about that. So in the pre-flight, make sure you're putting your foot on the nose wheel on the tire and aggressively trying to push it aft. You should you should see no movement in the strut. It shouldn't rock back and forth, thunk, thunk style. Next, as you taxi, there should be no slap slap. That is, as you taxi, you should you shouldn't have play such that you don't get motion from the rudder with rudder movement. What I'm talking about is kind of like a 55 Chevy on a crown road where there's slack in the in the steering. If that exists, you need you need to get that service. That's that's not correct. And then approach the whole short line. We put the toga bars up for something to aim at after takeoff. Set, in this case, pattern altitude. The pumps and igniters go to manual. Pedo heat comes on, entering the runway environment, no matter what the weather. Pulse and landing with a takeoff clearance. Yes, the traffic radio 10694 is going to be active in runway 5, staying in the pattern as the traffic. Some breakaway power. Clear the area. We're holding the yoke back to lighten the weight on the nose, even at this speed. That big elevator back there will lighten the nose, makes it easier to make turns. Lining up, toes down, nose wheel straight, and with your feet down on the bottom of the rudders, moderate pressure on both pedals to hold the center line. Bringing the power forward promptly without rushing, looking for 60 knots at the 1,000 foot Speed's marker. Alive. Speed's alive, gauge is green, annunciator clear. 60 cross check. All right, so there was a little yank there, so work your way gently back with rudder pressure on both rudders. Careful now. Wing is level. Positive rate of climb. Gear flaps trim. Autopilot on. Anchor your fingers and away. So you're you uh, you're you're sissy tapping it. Just mash it and get your hand away. You'll get better results. All right, we're right at 130 knots. So see if you can't manage that. Altitude, 1,000 to go. One to go. Bring the power back. Gently, carefully, hold on at 30 knots. So you see how getting fast um, in the climb makes it harder to get 130 knots. Don't be shy. 130 is the number. 130. 130. 130. Yep. Okay. Stop pulling. Make your turn to the downwind. And then 
put your manage your your airspeed again. Trim in motion. Trim in motion. Altitude 200 to go. That's Betty talking. So you're slightly below 130, so perhaps don't make any power change. Let's see if you don't get right to 130 when she levels off. And now you know 500 pounds is the number, so be vigilant. Be, be less picky with this at this point, and just get your power set correctly. And you're looking at airspeed as you set power. Okay. Note now that your white dashed line is right under the course, which is exactly where you want it. Look out here. We're a tad closer than we were last time, but certainly acceptable. Dick Rochford, fly safely. Train off it.